Hello, this is Sebastian from Native Instruments. In this video, I'm going to explain different methods for importing music into Traktor's track collection. Traktor handles all of your music files through its track collection. The track collection is a database which stores information for every track. This information consists of attributes such as artist, song title, BPM, and cue points. It also includes a directory path for the location of each of your music files on your system, so Traktor knows exactly where to load them from. Therefore, you can think of the track collection as a reference to each music file that you import into it, and not as the music files themselves. Next, we are going to show you different methods of importing music files into Traktor's track collection. Let's first look at how to set up music folders and import their contents. This is a method that we recommend as it is the most effective and simple. To manage your music folders, open the Preferences menu and navigate to File Management. Under Music Folders, you are able to add, delete and change the directories containing your music folders and files. By default, Traktor already includes the music directory of your user account in here. To add a music folder, click Add and navigate to a destination on your hard drive which contains the directory you wish to add. Select your desired directory and click Choose. Note that you are able to add multiple folders to this list. To remove a music folder, select it from the list and click Delete. After deleting, Traktor will stop importing music from that folder. Now we're going to show you how to import the contents of the folders that you have just defined. In the top part of the file management window, you will find the option Import music folders at startup. If you wish Traktor to automatically import your music folders on each startup, make sure that this option is ticked. Next time you start Traktor, your content will be imported. If you wish to import your folders manually instead, make sure that this box is left unticked. Close the Preferences, right-click Track Collection in the Tractor browser, and choose Import Music Folders. The import of the music folders you added to the list will begin immediately. While we recommend the automatic import of music folders, there are other ways to import your content into Traktor. You can also import your content via Traktor's Explorer node in the browser. Within this node, you can browse the contents of all your hard drives. Here, you can browse and view your chosen tracks and import them into Traktor's collection. Importing is also possible from external storage media, such as external hard drives and USB sticks. Make sure to have connected these devices before starting Traktor. In order to import your music files, browse to the folder containing the music that you wish to import. If you wish to import all the contents of the folder, right-click the folder and choose Import to Collection. A record sleeve icon on the left side of a track means that it has been imported and is now part of the Traktor collection. It is also possible to import the contents of the folder as a Traktor playlist. To do this, right-click the folder and choose Import Folder as Playlist, and enter a name for it. Your imported playlist will now appear in the Track Collections Playlist folder. You can also import single tracks or a selection of tracks instead of entire folders. After you have made your selection, right-click on it and choose Import to Collection as Tracks. Traktor's import capabilities are very flexible and allow for several methods to do this. You can also open a Finder or Windows Explorer window on your operating system and drag and drop the desired music folder or file directly into the Track Collection folder or into the Playlist folder. It is also possible to drag individual music files and drop them onto one of Traktor's decks. In each case, the tracks will be automatically added to the collection.
If you are using iTunes, you can also import the contents of its library to Traktor. First, open up iTunes and go into iTunes, Preferences, Advanced. Then, uncheck the option Keep iTunes Media Folder Organized to ensure that iTunes will not alter the directory path to your music files. Now close iTunes and return to Traktor. From the iTunes node, you can view and manage your music files keeping the same structure as you would in the iTunes software. Tracks that have already been imported into Traktor's collection will appear highlighted with a record sleeve icon to the left of them. Tracks that are not part of the collection will appear grayed out. Here, you can import single tracks or an entire selection of tracks. Right-click on the track or selection and choose Import to Collection as Tracks. If you wish to import a whole iTunes playlist, right-click the playlist and choose Import to Playlist. The iTunes playlist, along with its contents, will be added to the playlist folder of Tractor's track collection. Please note that the imported playlists are independent from the ones in iTunes. Changes made in iTunes will be reflected in the iTunes node, however not in the Tractor Track Collections playlist section. Please note that when you browse in the Tractor Explorer node, the software will be accessing the contents of your hard drive in real time. It will not be working with Tractor's Track Collection database. Within the Explorer, you can view, edit and load your tracks, but keep in mind that these changes will apply only to the files themselves and not to the collection. We recommend to import and then browse and edit your tracks only within the Track Collection folder.